Hi, Saints for Nation. Uh, welcome back as we are at number three on the top ten uh, stories of the 2010s. Um, this is actually our first video, and then the final three uh, we will do a video on and uh, sit down with a coach or uh, someone uh, Im important to the story, I guess. Um, and today we are joined by athletic director, athletics director Nick Rule. Sorry, and I am going to just butcher your whole title because it's way too long. But I'm, I'm just going to say time. strength and conditioning coach John Howland. Yeah. He's got a way better, way cooler yeah. uh, title than that. <laughs> Much longer. Yes. Yeah. No, Assistant I, athletic director for athletic performance and the student experience. Yeah, Let's that's go. Why you get paid the big dollars? <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, uh, John being with every single one of the teams, um, you know, in getting them bigger, faster, stronger, better, uh, felt like he was a, a nice addition, supplementary, supplementary to uh, Nick. So anywho, story number three is the uh, number one tie, number one uh, commissioner. Yeah, let's yeah, talk about that too. a little asterisk yeah. at that, but the uh, tied for first. Uh, for William Penn in the Commissioner's Cup standings, the Hard Commissioner's Cup standings uh, in 2018-2019. So uh, the asterisk just coming on total championships, I think, wasn't it? Uh, well, they, it went I down to the fourth tiebreaker. Yeah, it was the fourth tiebreaker. Yeah, tie was how many fourth <clears throat> places we had, because we That's had the same right. first, That's the right. same second, the same thirds as Benedictine, right. and, um, you know, the, the controversy, we won't get too much into Yeah, that, and but, we didn't but, want to. I remember being part of it. But here's they the, didn't want to have a shared title. And yeah, yeah, and so we never had rules before, title. so we made up the rules after it happened. But yeah. So that's why it was, we're, it's yeah. tied for first, because that's yeah. how it was under the Right. So so basically tied for first. Yeah. Uh, but anyhow, um, just a tremendous year, Nick. Uh, you know, we had titles from, I'm trying to remember everybody, conference titles from women's golf, women's bowling. Women's um, basketball. Women's basketball. Baseball. And baseball, thank you. Yep. I knew it was the fourth one. Um, and then a whole bunch of other teams finishing second, second third, and fourth. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you know, and other teams, you know, stealing some points here and there. Uh, it was just a really tremendous year. Yeah, I mean, and you know, you say uh, important to the story. I, I literally had nothing to do with this whole thing. It was it, you can't put, you know, twenty coaches behind no, here. Exactly. So and, you know, right. John and I are here, and John had nothing <coughs> to do with it. But um, you know, I think part of the whole thing is that, uh, you know, our coaches and our staff and our student athletes um, have really embraced this culture of, um, you know, doing some uncommon things and starting to believe in ourselves in a different way and look at ourselves in a different way. You know, I went back and looked at, you know, when we were in the MCC and tried to figure out if we had the same, uh, uh, you know, same Commissioner's Cup setup. Right. I mean, I think the highest we would ever finish is either third or fourth. Third or fourth, I believe. And, yes, um, right. and so this is a much bigger conference, a much tougher conference. Yes. Um, and, you know, you have some perennial powers in the AIA um, in the heart. and But the fact that, you know, you, we were there shows a enhanced level of belief among our staff that we can be there. Yes. Um, because belief starts at the top, right? You know, if you're a head coach and you don't believe, your student athletes aren't going to believe. And so what I what I feel like I saw over the you know, last year especially was just this whole and complete belief that um, we don't have to look at everyone else and think why can't we be like them. We can look at ourselves and say, you know, we're proud of who we are. We're not trying to be like anyone else. We're William Penn. Like that's our attitude. Mm -hmm. And you know, now I hear people saying, well, we want to be like William Penn. It's just like, okay, you know, we are who we are, right? All right? And we're and, and we can embrace who we are and, and what, who we are is special. Um, but our people have to believe that. And we, I feel like they are, and I feel like our student athletes are. Um, you can look at support at games. You can look at championships. You can look at GPA. All those things are up. Um, and and that's people believing in themselves. And so I, I just think that's. Uh, uh, you're seeing a lot of a lot of positive progress because our staff um, is, is is thinks the WP right. it means something very very special and it does yeah, definitely. John added a little bit again. You get to uh, work with every single team um, in, a, in a different uh, mm -hmm. you know realm, I guess. But um, how much different did this last year seem, or just a, a culmination? I mean, hopefully we do it again this yeah, year. But yeah. you know that it. Uh, Things just you know, caught lightning in, in a bottle, so to speak. Um, you know, what did you see on your end? Yeah, I mean, we do get a unique perspective. Mm -hmm. We kind of get a behind-the-scenes look of right. everybody and, and what they're doing, and and we have that communication with co a lot of coaches on <coughs> as we're trying to develop workouts. What are you doing in practice? How intense is practice going to be? And, and so we get literally a 360-degree view of it. And um, I think the one thing that stood out to me is was kind of a momentum thing. Mm -hmm. And in last year was. I don't want to say the culmination of that momentum, right. but there was some good momentum going in from the previous year, mm -hmm. maybe even the year before, yeah. and that momentum carried into last year. 
um, and, and really help pick up speed and, and, and all the things he just talked about, the belief in ourselves, uh, buying into the culture and those types of things. It was just a gradual buildup where last year I think just showcased really well what that buildup is. And, and it, do, it is a trickle down effect because, you know, the coaches, when they buy in, it helps the athletes get bought in. And, and, and that buy in is across the board. So it, it, it's going to be in practices, it's going to be in buying in and, and going and supporting other teams, it's going to be in buying in and coming in and making sure that they're getting their workouts in and things right. like that. Um, and so I think it, to me, if you, if you kind of, could <coughs> summarize it in one term, I would think it's kind of that culmination of momentum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, changing gears totally here, we're talking about, you know, the, the feelings of it all, I guess, mm -hmm. but the nuts and bolts of it, um, just so everybody understands, if you didn't read the story, was, you know, how they actually come to the, the final point tally. Everybody's got to have, everybody competes in so many sports, and I think there's five total sports that everybody competes in. It's Women's volleyball, both basketballs, baseball and softball. Every every school has those five, and so no matter what your placing is there, that's you have where to you take get those, those points. You yeah. got to take those points. Yep. So if you're horrible in those five, but you're amazing in everything else, well, that stinks, you know. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, you know, women's volleyball was was better. Yeah. I don't I don't know if they we scored any off of that. I think men's we got bas a point. Yeah, I think we got a point yeah. maybe. Um, men's basketball having another strong run, they were yeah. they were second. And the craziest thing about sorry, I didn't mean, no, the craziest right. little thing, men's basketball has been one of the most if that maybe right. well, the most successful program yeah. in a, in recent history for us. Right. And they finished third. Yeah, exactly. And we so didn't, we yeah, still we didn't did that get with the them points off. Third. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They didn't finish where yeah. they had been. Yeah. So those points were a little bit diminished. Okay, then women's basketball finally breaks a thirty four. 34 year break. Uh, I think I'd remember this stuff. But I can't. I was thinking. I read of, your uh, stories. Man. I know. I was thinking yeah. of, uh, of golf. It was yeah. 44 years. Yeah. Um, so, you know, women's basketball has breaks their drought. They get on and get all those points there. And then they win the conference tournament, which you get some three extra points. Right. Because you win the conference yeah, championship, you get three right, extra exactly. points. Right, uh, exactly. Softball, unfortunately, wasn't, you know, something we, mm -hmm. I don't think we got any points out of there, no. or maybe we got a point. We got a point. Um, and then baseball comes from a worst to first situation. Yeah. Great they story. were the, the, the biggest story of, yeah. of everything. Um, team that you want to talk about, belief. Yeah. That yeah. I think, again, just lightning bottle. Everybody just bought in, knew we could do it, and when it's all said and done, got big points, and then we had women's we golf. Ahead. Women's golf then yeah. as well. Yeah. But I mean, but. if you look, baseball <coughs> is a perfect example of what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right, yep. you know, just and like you just talked about belief. If there's a, a story that's a microcosm of the yep. year last year, you know, it's baseball. Now I think we would have been like fourth or fifth the year prior if you did the same thing. Right, but right. but just that whole belief and what Coach Slayer did as a guy who's been ha around here a really long time with a thousand wins and as yep. a as a leader, he he shifted mm -hmm. and, and and looked at hey, how can I run this program better? Um, and that's a guy who's had a thousand wins saying yep. how can we be better? Right. And uh, and just. That's a great example of baseball, and the, and you know obviously what's Coach Williamson's done, but oh, you could go across the board with our coaches. I mean, yeah. everyone's getting better yeah. um, than they were a year before. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, finally, here the then you could also steal, not steal. You also use uh, points from three other sports. Your mm -hmm. highest, three other highest uh, point getters, I guess. Because uh, women's bowling it. was that. So women's had, bowling yeah. wins conference. So we get the the eight or whatever off of that. You get women's golf winning, and then men's bowling was the other point, and they got second. Second. So that's where you get huge points off of that. So other schools maybe were really strong in their five, or you know solid in their five, but just didn't have additional points yeah. off of their three. Didn't, couldn't, didn't have three other sports that did yeah. anything or whatever, or that, to that level that we did. So that's where we got our I don't know it's 51 points, or yeah. I can't remember what the point tally was, but um, yeah, it was just a situation that everybody has to do it. Yeah. It, it can't just come off of one team or just and that was the difference I think what I like the best about the Commissioner's Cup standings now versus what the MCC was MCC counted every single sport but and we wouldn't have done as well so yeah. maybe maybe that's why I like it because we were able hey, to yeah. take advantage of three that were really excelled yeah. uh, but you know it's, it's an interesting way to, to pull yeah. it all together but it, it does give credence to every you know yeah. a, a, so many sports it's yeah. not just a couple saying all right well there you go you don't just go off of Whoever wins the most titles gets the whole thing. Yeah, keeps people it, it comes off too. to a bunch of them. So, yeah. Um, I mean, moving forward now, we, uh, you've talked about this in the past and, and talking about women's golf, but um, I'm sure a lot of our coaches don't go in saying, "Hey, we're going to be part of helping us win the Commissioner's Cup standings." 
Like that's probably way back in the back of your brain, especially because you're worried about your first four. Yeah. You're not worried about the overall yeah. thing. But how many conversations did you have with coaches last year saying, you know, we're doing, we feel like we're doing the right things. And this is going to lead us to, we don't know where it's going to lead us, but we feel like we're doing the right things right now. And in the end, it led to a commissioner's cup. Yeah. I think I think those are the most of the conversations we're having with our <coughs> with our head coaches right now. As um again, not necessarily focusing on winning, but we're talking about you know what are the things that you're doing that are leading to progress, getting that one percent better every day, moving the needle, um you know, and, and I think those things are resonating. It's just like if you're doing these little things, all right, and, and you're doing maybe one thing uh, above and beyond every single day, you're going to move the needle. Um and and if you if our every single coach in our staff does that, and every single team does that. You know, we're going to move the needle, and right. um, but you would be surprised. Uh, one thing I was, one thing I was surprised about at least is that um, after those commissioners' cup results came out, I had uh, I had three different coaches come to me, um, saying we want to help this university do this again, and we're going to get better. Yeah. And because we didn't score points, I don't. I mean, that's not part of the evaluation right. whether no, right. whether they yeah. scored points in the commissioners' cup. Or not. <coughs> right. You know, obviously, we part mm-hmm. of our evaluation process is we want to be competitive. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Um, but there's that's one of many things. Um, but I was impressed by that, and uh, it's like, okay, well, we want to help the school, yeah. and so that's what I like. What the Commissioner's sure. Cup has done is that it's put um, uh, instead of having all these individual sports, and we and we've talked about this a lot in the last three years um, about getting all of our programs to work under one umbrella instead of their own umbrella, and um, and so I like the Commissioner's Cup helps us just Definitely, do yeah. that and talk yeah. about that, and so I thought it was cool. I mean, they came and I'm like, this is coach. I said, coach, this is great. You know, yeah. this is. Um, you know, I, I like that you want to do that, um, uh, but you know, don't be don't be don't be hard on yourself yeah. about it because yeah. you know we could still only score three more, and two of those two of those three were championships, and, right. yeah, and one exactly. of those was yeah. a, like, you a could have finished third, place, and, so, and it's still yeah, really good, but you yeah. didn't score any points for us. Yeah. But I, I thought that was cool. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a sign that you know people care. Right, right. Uh, John, what have you noticed this year now? After I mean, again, maybe it resonates with us maybe we're remembering yeah. it and we think it's a big deal maybe not everybody's like okay that was last year that's a pass that's fine but maybe it maybe it has carried over what have you seen this year and that um you know what that was great and um but we want to do it again or we want to and again putting this whole wp thing we're, we're all together yeah. but it's not you know we want to win for our our program but man in the end when william penn wins we all win so yeah. it's a great thing so what have you possibly seen this year that has extended that on yeah i i mean i think it comes back to <coughs> to the momentum piece is you know when when you have a culmination in momentum it's just going to create even more momentum right yeah. and that kind of the success breeds more success mm-hmm. theory yeah. and i think that's a piece of it um uh, there's a more you can see more pride uh, and so whether that's in the way they're handling you know classwork or or Mm -hmm. in the weight room or at practice like there's just more pride taking in it and uh, and I think again it's just it created more excitement it created more buzz it got people um, rejuvenated and wanting to try and beat it and get better uh, because of it so I think it's just created created more momentum if anything um, and just made it made more excitement and more um, a little more focus on continuing to try and find ways to get better right yeah and in coaching you know anyone that's a coach um, there's there's very few things that are more powerful than momentum, mm-hmm. and uh, you know that's something that we t- that we think about every day. How do we keep the momentum going? And so John's John's you know, nails it on the head. <coughs> Another word that I've heard said a few different times is together. Um, you know we have a, an annual event um, at a men's bath men's and women's basketball game called the Quality Night, and our student athletes pick a word um, that they want us to put on a shirt and focus on. Mm-hmm. Um, and this year, our student athletes picked togetherness. Or together. Together, yeah. And, um, you know, so what we're talking about together is now, again, starts at the top with our coaches. It trickles down. I mean, it wasn't even close. I mean, there were some good words, but together is what they wanted to really focus on this year. So that trickle-down effect, it's working. Yeah. And uh, and, and our student-athletes are seeing it. And I I think that's important. No, I think you can definitely see it. I mean, John mentioned all the earlier, like, you know, the attendance being higher. Yeah. Just the overall camaraderie being higher. I mean, you've got the ASA is is working harder than yeah. they've ever worked before. Um, I mean, all of these, everybody wants to be part of this. Yeah. And it's, you know, that's where you're only as strong as your weakest link, and yep. we don't have a lot of weak links right yep. now. Everybody's yep. booing each other up. So um, anything additional you want to add yeah. to, to last year? 
for those. Uh, well, you were a part of those high achieving uh, the culture because your your staff has set the tone yeah. um, on, on on changing and enhancing and growing and and shifting. Um, what you guys, if you look at what you guys were doing four or five years ago and what you and your staff are doing <coughs> today, and I know this is not <coughs> something you want to hear for this, but you know you guys are are putting out what we're doing right. and you you have all really elevated what we're doing and show and, and people see that mm -hmm. that helps with recruiting you know that helps with retaining that helps with our student athletes feeling special so yeah. it it ta it's everyone it's yeah. it's your yeah. staff it's a booze staff it's your staff it's transportation with Brad it's all of our head coaches you know it's the financial aid office it's admissions it's the president it's a, you know it's everyone and um, if any one of those links if there's if, if something's not working there it could disrupt momentum yeah. and when you have all that working together that's that, that's where things happen and so yeah. um you're part of it for sure yeah no, we're all together yeah so there we go there we go it's tied thursday it's tied thursday we're together yeah, 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 it's all about it's these good stuff <laughs> there kumbaya here we go <laughs> <laughs> once again uh, athletics director nick rule as well as John Haugen, <laughs> I'm just strength and conditioning coach John Haugen. Assistant I'm athletic sorry. director. You're both assistant athletic directors. Yes, for student performance and no athletic performance. Yeah, athletic and performance and student, student life. Student experience. Oh my gosh, that is so long, buddy. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry I'll, that I'll you did that tag. to you. I'll get the name. <laughs> you got it. Maybe we do it somewhere. Performance or something. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll figure it out. Better. <laughs> Anywho, uh, that is number three. Our commissioner's cup finish. Uh, number two coming tomorrow. Uh, until then, check out statesmanathletics.com for all of your William Penn athletics-related material.